here's what's happening. I'm at the airport, I'm going to Seattle. I'm going to go visit RC Test Flight. He has a YouTube channel where he put the 1000 watt LED on the drone, RC Test Flight. Anyway, check him out if you haven't seen him. We're going out to Seattle, we're going to do a collab with him and Rotor Riot. But before we do, I'm a YouTuber. I'm in an airport, so airport montage. It's a good montage. Now I'm in Seattle. Here's the story of how I met Daniel of the YouTube channel RC Test Flight. The Duke University RC Club, they have like a multi-rotor club, and they brought me and Drew and Daniel out <laughs> to visit them. And uh, when I got in the car, uh, he said, I've never met YouTubers before. And I thought, yes. Drew and I are big, important YouTubers, and you've never met anyone as... It turns out he has a bigger channel than either of us. Some of his videos have like 20 million views. This place is insane. I thought my... $1,300, $1,500 beast class was expensive. This place is, un look at this, look at these things. This, this is a gigantic gimbal. This is an RC car with a freaking gimbal on it that you could drive around and shoot movies and look, it's got freaking woven wire stabilizers. David Windestall was right all this time. And this is the Freefly Alta 6. These guys make these freaking cinema drones. Yeah, just build stuff. I love building stuff. What's your most successful video? Uh, most successful video is not even RC related, strangely enough. It's uh, my 1000 watt flashlight. I basically just built a, a bar of 10 100 watt LED chips. And it was stupid bright. And I was just you know, walking through the woods showing how bright it was. And that just blew up. Got like 3 million views in 3 days. What's your favorite video though? Is it, is it, oh, geez, I bet it's not favorite. your most popular one. No. I don't know, there's, I can't say I have a favorite video. There's just too many good ones. But I, I was looking back through through videos from just years ago the other day, and there's just some gold in there that I was, just got so entertained by. Like some of the projects I used to do, like ground effect vehicles and electric rockets and giant foam airplanes. And there's, oh, it, I don't know. I can't, I can't think of a favorite one off the top of my head right now, but. As successful as your channel is, yeah. people might think YouTube is your full-time job, but it's not. It's not, no. It's, uh, it's my side hustle, one of them at least. So who is, you were for Freefly. Freefly. Who's Freefly? Tell yeah. everybody about. So this is Freefly, um, and we just kind of make all the products that are used by the cinema industry in Hollywood. I mean, occasionally I'll see a shot in a movie, mm -hmm. and I'll go, oh, that's probably a drone shot, yeah. you know. But like, drones are just used in like all major yeah. Hollywood productions. If they're flying like a big cinema camera with a, you know, a normal cinema lens, if it's not just like Inspire stuff, then chances are they're using an Alta 8. Yeah. And now hopefully Alta X. Right. So Alta X is a quadcopter. It's a quad, yeah. It's a giant quad, 33 inch props. Mm -hmm. What's the uh, wheelbase? Do you know? I'm not sure the, the wheelbase on the top big. of my head. Yeah, it's, like it's four it's foot, big. five foot. It's over a meter, I think. Yeah. yeah. And it's a quad. Mm -hmm. And it flies these expensive cinema digital cameras. Yeah. And uh, apparently that's okay. You don't need redundancy? Yeah. So there's been a lot of uh, people asking about that. And the thing is, like, these are industrial drone motors. Um, and they're matched with these industrial ESCs. They're all built together into just one unit. And they're extremely reliable. Like, we test the absolute crap out of them. We've had them running in our containers out back just for thousands and thousands of hours, just abusing them. And we, like, they just don't fail. Like, we just build them to be that reliable. So, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, the quad thing is some people are kind of uneasy about it, but I mean, we're fine with it. And it's, the, the quad is really the only way that you can get this, you know, high of an efficiency and fly these, you know, 30 pound cameras for, 
20 minutes so i guess i'm surprised of, to hear you say a quad is more efficient than an octo is yeah. that because the bigger props are more efficient it's yeah for the total footprint of the aircraft a quad is way more efficient than an octo because more of the surface area if you're looking down at the aircraft more of that surface area is propeller you want as much right. propeller as possible so the only thing that would be even more efficient than a quad is like a single rotor Right. Or, or, I mean, in theory, like a tricopter would be a little more efficient than a quad. But that's you know, somewhere no out is. there, David Windestall's like, <laughs> yeah, <"Tricopter? laughs> sounds like tricopter. Giant cinematic tricopter. Hey, maybe that's next. That'd be cool. Maybe. She isn't even something I broke today. I, I wrecked one of my SMA connectors when I was loading this into the overhead storage on the airplane. I was like, so <laughs> what? Like, well, because I'm doing these SMA connectors out the rear here, and people are saying, oh, you're gonna break it and crash. I haven't broken it, and I've crashed the piss out of them. My broken antennas has been fine, but then loading it into the overhead connector. I... <laughs> hey, Nurk, you wanna rip that space needle? What do they install a train up there? <laughs> I'm here with the road trip queen. I, I'm, I mean, I just made that up, but Jamie is a hell of a driver. I also drive the vehicle quite a bit when we're doing road to riot stuff. It's true. Well, you can get some gas. I'm gonna go use potty. So. But our vlog. I, I know, thought we had I something have to special. Pee. I thought we had something special. I've had to pee for the last 30 minutes. Yeah. I so. Just, I, I gotta pee. I also have to pee. You have to pee? Yeah. Are you gonna... You're, you're just editing your video, man. Yeah, don't talk. I have to pee. I can't talk. But... To go without for such as love is many has many times a for nothing save a journey but down the road is a river and every path's a tributary blessed are the ones who set their compass on the same true north
It is inevitable that they shall find each other through days long, sorrowful, of silent <laughs> understanding. Oh. Hopeful, motion oh, flowing, sick. freedom till the ocean. <laughs> All the fathers and the dreamers uh, and the dreamers All the poets and the singers and the singers Praise and chant great hymns to him Leave in wonder in his wake You must stand apart, or together you will tumble. Keep the space between you filled with passion and desire. Maybe more, maybe fixed on a star or a boat on the horizon. All the fathers and the dreamers and the dreamers All the poets and the singers and the singers Praise and chant great hymns to him Leave him wonder in his wake Or together you will tumble Keep the space between you filled with passion and desire Maybe more, maybe fixed on a star or a boat on the horizon I'm I can't think of any better place to finish this vlog than right here on the beach The sun is going down We've spent all day shooting a really cool episode for Rotor Riot. Um, I got some good freestyle packs in. I'm just feeling really good. Um, <laughs> sometimes people are surprised to hear that I don't take any money from Rotor Riot. No, no appearance fees. No, no sponsored by DJI that you see before every Rotor Riot episode. I don't see a penny of that. They. They actually offered the pilot some of that sponsorship money, and I said no. I don't. I don't want to get twisted up like that, financially. <laughs> it's stuff like that. That's what gets me out. You know me. If left to my own devices, I would just sit home, make episodes for my channel in my yard, never leave the house. Just getting drawn out to get to go do stuff like stuff I can't even talk about because I don't know if the episodes will come out yet by the time you're seeing this. The stuff we did with Daniel Riley in Seattle, experience of a lifetime stuff. And I'm more than happy to do that for free. Uh, <laughs> I would pay, I would pay to do that stuff. So it's just my perspective on it. I guess in a way I'm trying to have it both ways. I want to hang out with Rotorite. I want to do epic stuff with them. And part of that means that they're associated with a store and selling things is not really my brand. Shilling things is not really my brand. I prize myself for my objectivity and my ability to treat each product fairly without regard for whether I make money from it or not. But I really just have such a great time on these shoots that I wouldn't pass it up and I'm willing to try and sort of split that you know like King Solomon and the baby wait is that the right analogy you know we'll just split the baby 
but you don't split the baby. Well, anyway, that's going to do it for this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Back to your normally scheduled, boring, educational content. I got to get out of here. We got a whole other episode to shoot, even though it's getting dark. How are we flying drones in the dark? It's pretty freaking cool. See you guys. It is inevitable that they shall find each other through days long sorrow full of silent understanding. Hopeful emotion flow in freedom till the ocean.